Since the tragic events in Borsgard, the families of the caravan look to Alette, daughter of Rook, the former leader, to guide them. Though young, her compassion for others and ability with a bow have impressed all but the good, most stubborn clan leaders. Calling on her personal resolve and lifetime friendships with the archer Adleaf and the massive Varl Ivor, Alette must continue her father's work of seeing the caravan to the safety of the distant capital city, Arborong. Teaming lean over is a strong funk out the flame. Time continues washing over us, moment after moment, like waves on a coast. FYI, this game reminds me of Dungeons & Dragons, of what little I've seen of Dungeons & Dragons, that's why I'm playing it. I love... My kind. <laughs> I love pretending. ...remain alive. Even so, I find myself wondering if humans, while able to bear children, suffer more for their loss. Of loved ones. Several weeks have passed since we slew the Sunder known as Bellower, but the chaos of the world did not wither as we hoped. The world is breaking. We sail aboard hastily crafted ships for the safety of Arborain, the human capital. But the river curses us with a clear view of the dregs assaulting another hopeless village. Oh my god. Oh no! Oh! Why'd you kill the big one first? You can choose to either attack the enemy's strength or break his armor. The numbers beneath each icon, two, Eight, show the damage that you will do to that stat. Okay. Got it. I see. Strength counts as both health and damage. A loss of 8th strength will mean the character will now do 8 less damage. If strength falls to 0, the character falls in battle. Armor blocks strength damage but can be reduced by a break attack. By breaking armor, you open them up to take more damage in the future. This enemy has only seven strength remaining. A strength attack will kill it. But then what's the armor for? Use left stick L and A to choose the fist at two strength. Oh, okay. And then press A to continue. All right, we got it. Each time you make a kill, your renown grows, which is used later to improve your characters. Okay. Without an enemy to reach, this dredge grunt will choose to smash an obstacle in his way. Obstacles on the combat board will make you change tactics, so plan wisely to make them work to your benefit. That is not the one I would have expected him to break. Now it's Hakon's turn. He appears to be out of range of these enemies, but all heroes can use willpower to boost their actions. By moving on gold tiles, a unit can further move further than usual at the cost of one willpower per gold tile. So will he lose three or just one because it's a total of one gold movement, but technically there's three gold tiles. Let's see. Where's his willpower? It is three total. Oh, geez. Okay, standard attacks only affect a single attack and has a special ability that gives him a unique advantage. Funny, I don't know why he has the special ability because I don't remember him from the dialogue from before. I remember Alette. I remember Ivor. I don't know who the hell Hakan is. Sundering Impact allows him to hit so hard that multiple adjacent tiles take damage on every hit. Okay. We need to change the... Oh, okay, so let's change the target. We're gonna use... We're gonna just hit that guy. Okay. Alright, he's down. Pillage. Powerful strike. When there is only one enemy left, heroes enter pillage mode. During pillage, each hero moves in order, and there are no more guaranteed turns. Check the initiative to see how the order has changed. So he's gonna take a hit. Oh! Yikes, I feel like we could have done this better without taking any damage, but okay. 
If a character does not move on his turn, he can rest to regain one willpower. A Leo will rest this turn. If I use willpower, I can boost her damage. Nice. I see. Gotcha. Uh, press RB to add a star. Add the star and press A to kill it. Okay. Got it. Tutorial done. Thank goodness. It's it's kind of like Romance of the Three Kingdoms 8 mixed with Dungeons and Dragons, the board game. So this is interesting. The villagers' reactions range from terrified by the foes to awestruck at your arrival. Their leader approaches and bows in front of Ivor. Your timing makes me think the gods have returned. Please, I... He stops when Ivor nods his head towards you. The man peers under your hood. A girl leads those who saved us from... Those things? She ordered us to land, and those things are dredge, like the ones you probably heard about as a kid. Between losing so many clansmen in this, I feel I'm not myself. I thank you, child. He whips his cloak back with a flourish. I am a Leo. I thought it was an insult. He called himself a scald. He, and he, it's just a guitar player. He's a lute player. He sings songs. Alette, and this is Ivor. Ah, names destined for history. His smile seems genuine, as much as the concern that follows. Do you have any idea what might be causing the deep rumbling underfoot? Deep rumbling? Could that be that giant serpent again? What is he talking about? The serpent in the sun, Radomir. I'm no holy man, but joking about dead gods feels wrong. I don't think that the Sun Serpent would break mountains and try to swallow us all. What are they talking about? Who could say with the sun stopped in the sky like it is? Aleo looks skeptical. As am I. I don't think there's a huge serpent doing this. Tell me, did you just come from Borisgard? We heard rumor that Sunder Bellower was sacking the town. Oh, we get a choice. We killed Bellower, which I assume we did, because um, I didn't play Banner Saga 1. Talking about Sunder will only make people panic. We should leave before the Dredge regroup. Uh, let's be honest here with this guy. We killed Bellower. Hell yeah, we killed him. Aleo pauses and looks to Ivor, who confirms your statement with a nod. History indeed. Sunder Slayers, here among us. Depths. What? There are so many questions to ask. <laughs> Depths? That's... <laughs> Such a strange thing. Uh, they'll have to walk safely back on the longships and leaving this place. The Scald nods his understanding, but another question creases his brow. Leave. Not to sound ungrateful, but this place. It's all we have. It is our home. Alright, so this guy's gonna come up against a choice. He can either stay and die or go with us. Let's see. I felt the same when the Skogar was overrun. Your home is about to be destroyed by the Dredge. Fine, but no one else will come to save you. Okay, if I was in this situation, and I was a let, and I just lost my father, I would kind of force people to do the right thing, in a nice way. I wouldn't let them die, so fine is not going to be my choice. Your home is about to be destroyed kind of seems like something... Um, I felt the same when Skogar was overrun. I don't remember what that was like because I didn't play the game. So we're going to go with your home is about to be destroyed by Dredge. After how many you just put down, even those creatures must know when they've been beaten. We've almost never seen them stop, and no one knows why they push on so hard. We don't know much about them at all. Aleo looks back and forth between you and Ivor before nodding. Packing and... Tending to our dead will take some time, but I'll have everyone on the ship soon. You watch Aleo rejoin his family. Moves his hands too much when he talks. It's unsettling. People think we're heroes now. The world is breaking in more ways than one. It's not the first time you've been called a hero. Ngvar. <laughs> Ngvar. I thought his name was I Ivar. Ngvar. Ivor, your father's closest friend, looks unamused. He is one of the giants known as Varl, and has fought Dredge in the northern winters, personally killed one of their generals, the Sunder Rays, and lost an arm to the Sunder Bellower. 
Your humor reminds me of your father's. Since we're talking about things we'd rather avoid. What a dick, man. He just brought up my dead dad. That's horrible. I'll just keep hoping I'll wake up and see my dad again. I know he's gone, but I don't know how to let him go. You can't make me talk about him if I don't want to. <laughs> the clansman could use your strength in packing the ships. The clansman could use your strength in packing the ships. Fine, but they'll need your strength more than they'll ever need mine. He turns to leave, but stops. Just don't let whatever is inside build up. It can crush you. Even if it did, it's not like it would change anything. The giant stares down at you for a long moment. Your father gave everything to get us this far. Don't waste that. Ivor's words begin to sink in. He places his large hand on your shoulder. Leading this group isn't easy, but Rook knew you could do it if you had to. And I'm telling you, you have to. What an asshole. First he brings up my dead dad. Then he says, I can't do it. You have to do it. Jesus. He walks towards the village, leaving you alone with your thoughts. X. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. We heard rumor that Sunder Beller was a sacking... <laughs> Sunder Bellower. Bellower. <clears throat> like Donald Trump. I'm glad we got rid of him as well. You smile, but say nothing. Because secretly, you voted for Donald Trump. Fun fact, I didn't really have a dad growing up. So I don't really know what that's like. But if I had lost my mother... It's food. Food, good. Mead. Do we really need mead? I think we just need water. Is Cat in the Hat hiding back there? What in the hell is that? What? That is like the female version of Bobby Hill from King of the Hill. Jesus, Folka. What is your... Folka. What is this camp? If my father was the leader of this caravan, he did a piss-poor job. We're gonna make it better, folks. We're gonna make it much better. Not Folka. Don't get confused with folks and Folka. I have not seen an ounce of respect on my name in this game yet except from Aleo and kind of Ivor kind of Ivor but everybody else has been an absolute cunt